Hello YouTube, I'm 36 weeks pregnant today and it's not, it's been a kind of uh, fairly uneventful baby week but uh, kind of been the week for absolute morons turning up on my channel and telling me that all sorts of things that apparently I need to know things like, well mainly it's to do with my appearance but you know, you're always going to get some idiot who decides that it's really funny to tell you these things so um, try not to let that bother me too much. Generally it doesn't but I'm always just a little bit surprised when these things happen because I I don't come across people like that in my everyday life. Um, so it's just always a bit startling to me that there are people actually like that in the world who will say these things to complete strangers and have absolutely no regard for how they might feel. Anyway, never mind. If there weren't any dickwads in the world, I'm sure it would be much less fun, so... Um... Been out and about um, a couple of times this week, and I'm noticing... Obviously, you know, it's really very noticeable now <laughs> that I'm pregnant, and there have been a few kind of double takes. Uh... But nothing too awesome, like, nothing too awful. It's fine though. Um, I had a whole, whole weekend practically of yoga. Um, I had a session on Saturday which was a couple of hours long and then on Sunday I went, me and my mum went to a three hour long workshop to do with um, labour and birthing and um, it was really helpful, it was really practical, lots of really good positions, a lot of which I already knew from the yoga that I had been doing. But it's still really good to go because she gave us some handouts and as a little present she gave us these massage balls. And uh, I discovered that I think the yoga has really been helping with my lower back pain, which isn't too bad. And it's fine, it's just it's a bit stiff in the mornings and can kind of get a bit achy throughout the day as the day progresses. So things like I discovered that the yoga and just keeping my pelvis moving really helps. And... Um, warmth, so things like sitting on a warm bath, that helps. Um, trying not to stand up for too long, you know, those kind of things, so... Yeah, um... And the usual sort of pelvic floor pain. I'm waking up quite a few times in the night, but it's not bothering me, like, too much, like, it doesn't really affect me. Normally it's just that I have to pee, uh, which is... <laughs> really regular now, uh, you know, it's at least like once every hour to hour and a half I have to get up and pee. Um, not during the night, I mean I'll probably only get up like once during the night, um, but during the day definitely like, you know. <laughs> We've started talk of, to talk about, um, I, I put my first draft of my baby plan together, my birth plan together. Uh, as a rough guide, and it's mainly more for my midwife, who I'm going to be seeing on Wednesday. It's just to sort of let her know what I would like to avoid, and I'm going to be doing stuff uh, for my mom and my sister, who are going to be my birthing partners, just to make sure that they're aware of what I found helpful from these yoga workshops, you know, like a lot of the breathing is really good. And we did this really interesting exercise where um, the partner would like pinch on the inside of the of my thigh, um, so in the, this case it was my mom. She just pinched like a, a good wadge of skin from the inside of my thigh to simulate and a contraction and practicing breathing through them. That was really helpful. Um, and the first time she gave us the instructor, she gave us no instruction whatsoever how to do it. And then the second time she gave us more instruction, and the second time was definitely much more manageable. You know, so, anyway, there's no telling what the real thing is going to be like. But, you know, I guess that's part of the excitement, is that you just don't know. But generally, on the whole, I feel quite confident about giving birth. And I'm hoping that I'm going to get to do it at home. But I still haven't confirmed that with my midwife. I have tried, but she's either been on leave or, you know, she's just not been available. You know, it's the way that the NHS works in, the Brit in, the, in this country. It's just, um, like... They write leaflets and, you know, all the books say that you should have a really great relationship with your, with your midwife, but seriously, we're understaffed and we just, 
you don't get that kind of care. So, anyway, um, this week I'm hoping to do lots of sort of um, preparation of my room, uh, which is where I'm hoping to be for a lot of the time when I'm actually in labour. And I really enjoy being in my room anyway. Um, it's full of all my things. I have the right colours, you know, I've got my lovely bed, which is a huge double bed. Uh, really, I'm being so greedy. <laughs> you know, as such a small person, I don't really need all that space, but it's a lovely, lovely bed. And um, we're going to be sort of dolling up the headboard a bit and making it look nice and hope hoping to get like... Um, I quite like the smell of like lemongrass and quite a citrusy scent, so I'm hoping to get something with that kind of smell to it. Whether that be a room spray or an air freshener or a candle, you know. Um, go. I got an orchid. I love orchids. So I got one for my room and it's lovely. Uh, it's not up here at the moment though. I've left it downstairs, but yeah. Um, so uh, questions for you actually, because um, I've been thinking about this quite a bit lately. Where were you when your waters broke? And, you know, was it messy? Did lots come out? Did only a little bit come out? You know, was it manageable? Because um, that's something I've thought about. And obviously I'm going to have to start sort of putting practical measures into practice, like putting towels um, under my sheets and things like that at night and keeping maxi pads close at hand just in case. Um, okay, and what did you have during your labour that really, really helped? I've been putting together like playlists and writing sort of um, how I would like the atmosphere to be so sort of you know if we can keep it fairly light and happy that would be great you know nothing too serious um, any smells any foods um, how did it go you know what was really helpful to you during your labour and your birth so oh not very long now. Everyone keeps telling me that. They're like, oh, not long now, not long now. Nobody said the kind of, wow, you haven't popped yet. You look huge thing. But I'm sure there'll be someone who says it because there always is. Um, so hopefully this week I won't get any, you know, I won't get many more sort of moronic people turning up on my channel telling me these, these things. Um, they kind of say them like I'm not aware of them. And like one of them was, was something to do with like, you know, if I thought that the internet was going to make me happy, I was so wrong because it's something about s the internet being serious business or something. And I was like, what? <laughs> Obviously, you know, when I started up the channel, I knew that by putting myself out there every week, um, I would be sort of um, laying myself open for all this kind of crap to come my way. But, you know, what's a couple of idiots going to do? Um, the other thing is, is that YouTube have actually approached me and said that I might be eligible for their partnership program, which basically means that I'll be, um, able to earn revenue from my videos because what they'll do is they'll put adverts on them. I haven't said yes to this, mainly because I feel like, well, this baby is not a business, but also, um, I don't want to kind of piss you guys off because... Some people are very anti-advert, and I don't want you guys to feel like it's becoming commercial, you know? So give me your feedback on that. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, I think it's just time to do the belly measurement. I know that I'm bigger, because my belly button is getting flatter and flatter and flatter, to the point where it's probably going to disappear. So, yeah. Um... Right then. Also, hopefully, we've got this fiber optic broadband and it's probably going to make my upload like amazingly fast. So, this is the 36 week belly. Still no stretch marks. Um, I definitely have that line. Baby is favoring this side, which is good. This is the size, the side that we want them to be. Um, and I have a scan at the end of this month. So, last week, I can't remember what I was, was I like 34 and a quarter or something? I don't remember. So, hmm. 
No, I can't have been that because I'm like 33 and a half now. So that concludes my 36 week update. I'll see you guys next week. Uh, take care. Bye.